Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solving our log equation here. Log has a very strange property. It has to look proper. It kind of reminds me of snowman in a way. So let's take a look at why it reminds me of snowman. Okay. When I lived in Wisconsin, that's why it reminds me of snowman. Whenever I go out to pick a log for the winter, I always end up staying outside a little too long and build a snowman. So log has a base, much like a snowman. It could also have a hat, and this number is the snowman's face. Let's put a stick in there. So it's important that when you take care of log, you write everything in its proper position because this one would look awfully the same, but it's not the same. Or if you put a three here, then it's taking that a base is ten. Okay, so try to avoid that confusion when you start off with. In order to solve this one, let's put this hat back on. We're going to use the property of the log. So log, if there's a number in front, you can put it on top in the hat position. Minus log base of three, y plus four, equal to two. When the two logs have the same base, you can combine them into one. I don't have a good analogy snowman like that for this property. But anyway, so you combine them into one. If you think of any, email me. Okay, so we're going to combine into one, and we have this division over here. Subtraction means division when you combine them. And from here, the next part is kind of my favorite part. You kind of transform the log because logarithm is opposite of exponentials. You're going to take the same base and you're going to do a gift exchange. Now we're in the winter theme here. You're going to swap, swap those two boxes. Y squared, Y plus 4. Ah, doesn't this look much better than that log equation we started with? Okay, so from here it's pretty easy. I'm going to do a butterfly. Maybe this is the springtime now. The butterfly basically says gets me out of the fractional equation there. I have a 3 squared, which is 9. 9 times cross term is equal to y squared times 1. So from here, I have a quadratic equation to solve, which is pretty easy. From here, we're going to factor it. In, uh, not a, y, so y, minus uh, 12 and y plus 3. That gives me a uh, minus 36 when I multiply, and when I add them, I have a what? minus 9. So y is equal to 12, or y equal to minus 3. Now, logarithm had this strange property because the graph of a log looks like that. The only thing that's valid for log is a the number you're taking log off has to be a positive, kind of like when you go buy a house, you have to have some money in the bank. So because the one of the expression we started with it was log base 3 of y, we can't take minus 3 as one of the solutions. So the only solution the viable is y is equal to 12. All right? Well, I hope uh, that's uh, clear for you. This is how we handle our equation, logarithm equation. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making math fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.